My name is Richard Devine. I'm an electronic artist, sound designer based from Atlanta, Georgia. And we're here at my studio today uh, to show you a new interface that I discovered called the Ferrofish 16 CV. Um, it is a pro high density A to D, D to A, ADAC converter with control voltage. And I was attracted to this interface for several reasons. First, it offers 16 TRS line inputs and outputs. Uh, I have a ton of drum machines and analog synthesizers here, so I mainly use the RME UFX Plus and 802 interfaces for a lot of my tracking and recording. Uh, and I needed a fi to find a way to get more physical inputs and outputs to these interfaces. And the second reason why I was interested in this interface is that the Pulse 16 CV has uh, DC voltage for the 16 outputs uh, to control analog gear we have here. So I'm gonna show you guys a simple example of how I use the Ferrofish Pulse 16 CV with um, my 802 interface and a small portable modular setup. So how I have it running here is I'm using it with my DAW. In this situation, I'm using Ableton 11 with CV tools that we see here. And if the way that I have this connected is I'm using the ADAT outputs from my Fireface 802. There's four cables, two for two sets of the outputs and inputs. That gives me a total of 16 uh, channels that I can use here on the Pulse 16. So the, out of those 16 uh, channels, I have the CV option. So I'm, I'm able to send control voltages from my computer directly out of this into my modular setup. Um, so the way that I have that set up here, this first thing I do is I just go into my Fireface USB settings and make sure that I'm using the uh, 802 interface as the uh, master. So I set the, the clock to internal and I make sure that the settings are set up for the outputs for ADAT. And then in the menu system setting here, I also make sure that the uh, the clock setting uh, rate is also set to ADAT here that you see and that the sample rates match up. Here it's 48, there it's 48, so we're good to go. And the only other settings that you set in Ableton is just to set your output interface, which I have here, C802, and you can set your outputs um, if you want, if you so desire. I have them all selected and highlighted here. Uh, and then there, you're pretty much good to go. Um, and in this example, I just have a uh, a simple CVLFO that you see here that's sending a sine wave. And as you can see, uh, I've set it to the output channel number nine uh, for easier visibility so that you can actually see that that is actually sending signal to that channel. Now, what does that sound like? Uh, so if I just turn this off, um, it's actually gonna turn the output signal off for that device. Now I'm gonna bring up the level on my modular here. We're just using a simple sine wave for this example. I'm going to turn on um, the CV LFO. And now this LFO is sending a sine wave rate out from the Pulse 16 output, output number nine, right into the CV pitch control of oscillator one here. Now I can change the rate of this to get higher or lower, you to define your depth, your offset, um, we could even change the shape, now see up down, go to triangle, square, Or we could do random. Now we have control voltage directly out of Ableton into the modular setup here that I have using the Pulse 16 CV out. So this is really, really cool. So you can hear the changes. Um, using the sort of stepped pattern that I have here. 
Uh, but the cool thing is, is that you can do this for each of the 16 outputs from the Pulse 16. So you could easily or essentially control eight different CV and gate instruments that accept control voltage and gates or triggers, or you can send out 16 individual control voltage trigger gate signals out of it, you know any of these outputs from Ableton using any number of these devices from CV tools uh, to control uh, anything within your modular setup. So there's a lot of flexibility uh, and control that you get utilizing um, this, these combinations of tools together.